Tonight is a taste of the Treasure Coast in Fort Pierce, Florida. We're making a Parmesan crusted grouper served with couscous and baked asparagus. It's going to be delicious, so stick around and we'll show you how we make it. My name is Mark Phillips. I've been in the food and beverage business for over 30 years. Throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to be in over 10,000 kitchens around the world. During the day, I work for Natalie's, a squeezed fresh juice company from Florida. Each week, I travel to a different city and get the opportunity to call on some of the most amazing chefs in the industry. The Kitchen of Chef Mark is a channel dedicated to showing you how you too can make fine dining restaurant quality food right in your own home. We'll travel together, we'll cook together, and we'll have some fun along the way. Welcome to the Kitchen of Chef Mark. Now let's get cooking. Tonight is a taste of the Treasure Coast in Fort Pierce, Florida. We're making a Parmesan crusted grouper with couscous and baked asparagus. Fresh red grouper, pan seared, buttered and coated with panko breadcrumbs, grated Parmesan cheese, garlic puree, scallions and parsley. Served with couscous pearls cooked in salted water and turmeric and baked asparagus with lemon juice and olive oil. And why are we making this dish tonight? Well, this week we were in Fort Pierce, Florida, a city of the Treasure Coast. We're visiting our friends at Freedom Boat Club, where Captain Mark just signed off on our open water boat certification. Now we can go out in the Atlantic Ocean and catch the really big fish, like our grouper tonight. Our mise en place for tonight's dish is one pound of fresh red grouper, two ounces of chopped scallions, one ounce of garlic puree, two ounces of chopped parsley, one half stick of butter, two ounces of panko breadcrumbs, two ounces of grated Parmesan Reggiano cheese, two ounces of Natalie's lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, turmeric, salt, pepper, two ounces of pearl couscous, four asparagus spears, and two sprigs of fresh thyme. We'll start with our asparagus. Lightly sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil and some lemon juice onto the asparagus spears. Make sure that all of them are coated evenly. Season them with salt and pepper. Then put them into a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. Next, we'll get our breading ready. Combine the panko breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, scallions, parsley, and garlic puree, and whisk it all together. Add in some salt, pepper, olive oil, and lemon juice, and whisk everything together again. Our breading is now mixed and ready to go. Set the bowl of breading aside. We'll use that in a few more minutes. Bring a small pot of salted water to a boil and add in a half a teaspoon of turmeric. This is mainly for color, but it also adds to the flavor. Next, we will get our grouper ready. In a small non-stick pan, add in some extra virgin olive oil and turn the heat up to medium. Season the grouper filet with salt and pepper. Turn it over and season it again so that there is salt and pepper on both sides. Place the grouper in the pan of olive oil and let it cook for about one and a half minutes. Then turn the grouper over and cook it too for about a minute and a half. Now take the room temperature butter and start to coat the entire grouper filet. Put the butter on generously. The butter adds flavor, but the main function of the butter is to ensure that our Parmesan panko breading sticks to the grouper. Using a tablespoon, start to put the breading onto the grouper. Flatten it down as you go to make sure that it sticks. Put the breading on the top of the grouper and also put it on the sides as best as you can. Then put the pan with the grouper into a 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Back in the pot of boiling water, add in your couscous. 
give it a stir, and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And now we'll make some room on the stove. Remove the pan of grouper and the asparagus so that we can get ready to plate our dish. Put a few pieces of fresh Italian parsley onto the corner of your plate. Then add four pieces of the asparagus. Using a wide fish spatula, place the piece of breaded grouper onto the plate. Next, we'll add a few spoons of the couscous. Garnish the grouper with a few sprigs of fresh thyme and balsamic dots, and we are done. And there it is, a taste of the Treasure Coast. Parmesan crusted grouper with baked asparagus and couscous. A treat from the sea prepared at home. It was delicious. Until next time, bon appetit.